Creek Beaters TV, made possible by Butch and Cheryl King, Justin Hobbs Studio, Falcon Hooks, Fastcasters USA, Titan Tungsten, Pulse Fish Lures, and PathfinderOutfitters.com. Hey folks, Dave here. Me again, Lawson. Lawson. <laughs> hey, we're, we're gonna do a video. Uh, I got into a discussion a little while back with a guy, and um, he said every time I go to Oakdale, man, I make sure I got some good braided line on so I can handle the fish. So, uh, Oakdale Dam is really rocky. And uh, I've seen abrasion tests done on uh, comparing monofilament and braid, and today, we're going to do our own. So. So I'll take the camera and we'll show. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's our setup. We got 12-pound monofilament. Okay. And we got it tied. We got this rock. It's going to simulate catching a fish and scraping it over a rock. Only we're not going to have water. It's just going to be a straight line. Um, yeah, dinosaurs kicked in. But we got it tied to a regular brick. This is just a marker so that we do the same test. We, it's a repeatability test. This is 12 pound mono and 17 pound braid. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna pull that and pull that brick and see how long it takes to uh, break the mono so let me get right here all oh, right go ahead huh yeah just i just pull it straight back so see what he did there is he went back and forth on the rock fighting it and now he's going to pull it straight back you're not on the rock there you go now you're on it Go ahead and pull it. Pull it till it breaks. Stop that reel from spinning and pull it. Okay, hold on. Let me see this. Yeah, it's it's nicking it. So okay, now pull it straight. You can feel the nicks. That's the so thing about. Is, yeah, it is. That's the thing about mono. It can be nicked up and still have strength. Yeah. With braid, when it gets nicked, it normally just breaks. So now he's going to do just a straight test, trying to pull that brick. Yeah. It, no break. Okay. Now there's a mono test. It didn't break. So let's just see if the braid breaks because it's supposed to. Uh, it's supposed to break. So it did. I'm gonna take it. You can see it really. But it tore it up. I mean, it scratched it up pretty good. But. Well, you can feel it, can't you? you got, yeah. Oh man, it's just nicked and nicked and nicked all the way up through there. Yeah. But it pulled the brick all the way to here. Okay. And that's pretty sharp edge right there. Oh that's yeah. That's what I was trying to do. Get it like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the fish is swimming. Yeah. So they're gonna be swimming that line yeah. go right across that well, edge of that rock. He was he was going side to side on that and still pull that brick up to there yeah so good that's our monofilament we'll be back with the braid all right folks here is the braid 17 pound test i'll tell you what man this line is so tough like trying to bite through it and stuff you don't do it you gotta you gotta seriously you gotta cut it with something. But once you touch it with something, man, it cuts so easy. So uh, 
We're gonna go on this rock again. Oh, you can't see it, but it's right there. Um, and then Lawson's back there. We're gonna do the same test. Uh, I don't know. It, we're we're gonna learn because I it may be just as tough as that 12 pound. But this is seven. Yep, this is 17 pound test. Yep, you're in the middle. Okay, so there's the there's the fight from the fish fighting. Okay. Keep going. Okay, that one, that one broke. Uh, did a break or did not come out? Looks like the knot. Broke. It looked like not the knot gave way. We won't be fair. Yeah. Don't feel too bad. Yeah, it broke at the brick. Broke at the brick. Yeah, it did. So, that's a five pound test, stronger <clears throat> than the monofilament. Yeah, mine don't feel bad at all. But it, it's a good line. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. So, what did we learn? Let me, uh, I'll get the camera on both of us and we'll see what we've learned. Okay. What did we learn on that? The, the test where they're both done exactly the same. What did we learn? Not much, huh? <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion, as far as like the feel of the line, it, the, the braid held up a lot better. Oh, oh I'm gonna it. it didn't break. No, it, the mono, I mean, like, the mono didn't break. That broke. That broke at the brick. Where it was actually, so, so here's the, here's the knot. It broke down where it was tied. Yeah, the well, brick. the brick has sharp edges too. Yeah. So that's what cut it broke right there like that right where that brick was so yeah. so i'm gonna say that the brick cut the line easier than it did the monofilament because the monofilament didn't break yeah but, but i'm gonna say that they're also this? they're they're uh pretty close yeah i mean i had it all the way up to the table I was now it up. here's the reason for doing this video the test i've seen done in the past the second they just touch something sharp with that braid, it pops it like it's nothing. So it's a little inconclusive on our behalf, but he's going to try to cut this braid with this rock and see what we get into. It's going to take some tension, put yep. it on a little bit, and I'm going to rub it on, across the rock. And let's okay. Right along the and, edge and see what happens. And I'm going to do it with the mono. Yeah, too. we'll do that with the mono too. So here we go. Now, keeping the line good and tight. Okay, I'm not, I'm not pulling hard, I'm just putting some tension on it. Two. Okay, so about three, just, three times yep. down, it just shredded that line. You cut that line like nothing. Now let's okay. get the mono let's and try it. Clean, oh. undamaged piece here. That's all. Okay, that's about good right there. Okay. So. Three and a half, about, yeah, yeah. three, three and a half-ish. That, that one broke, the braid broke at the start of three and that broke at the start of four. Yeah. Now, the thing is, like I say, that's 12 pound mono, 15 or 17 pound uh, braid. Yeah. What do you think? Honestly, I, I don't know, I'm impressed by this stuff because before it was like the, the, what was it, spider wire or something that we had? Yeah. Touch it and it just, I mean, you could just <laughs> hit the rock and it would, it would snap right you now. know what dude you are absolutely right remember i said in one of our previous videos spider wire had a problem with mm -hmm. tie that into just a regular overhand knot because you could tie that spider wire into a knot yeah, and, and just and just give it a that. little jerk and it would break and i don't think that stuff does that what is this power i don't know power? what that is i'll have to try to see if i can find out what it is okay put it in the description just tie it in that, a little knot. that's a for you guys that don't know, that's a great way to cut your lines. Just overhand knot and give it a snap. Yeah. 
No go? Uh -uh. No. Okay, guys. So, here's what I'm concluded from this video. Let's try this one. Yeah, try that. 12 pound test. Try that right but here. While you're talking about that, what I've concluded is they've come a long ways on braid. Because yeah. that spider wire we had, it was terrible. That one does have a knot. Yeah, see how easy it cuts? Yeah, I mean, I barely even hold on it. it just <laughs> so, I, so. uh, you know, I have nothing, I have no conclusion. Yeah. I don't. That's good wire. I'll find out what uh, braid that is. Yeah, that's good. Because I got it at home. Because that's why I stopped using braid too, because that spider wire, it would, you just oh, pop man. it. It just pop. Yep. So, okay. All right, well, take us out of here, Lawson, and we'll uh, see you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you learned something, and uh, we'll get with you later. Have a good one. We'll see you later. We will see you later. What are you talking about? Creek Beavers TV? That's awesome.